I always had an interest in art, drawing, putting things together um, from as long as I can remember my youngest memories. As I grew up, I realized you couldn't really count on becoming an artist professionally. And so I assumed uh, the only models that I had, role models, were either my art teachers, which weren't terribly inspiring, or my dad would occasionally hook me up with a commercial artist, which were not terribly inspiring. I couldn't really imagine having a job or anything except as an art teacher. My dad would ask, you know, what are your plans? I'd say, I guess I'll be an art teacher. And he would say, you've got pretty expensive tastes for an art teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school in Kansas City. They were the only place that accepted me, the only college at the Art Institute there. I was there for about a year and a half in the painting department, and my paintings were becoming m much more three-dimensional, and I was about to switch over to sculpture and then decided just to switch to California, uh, where my two best friends were already living in the hate, and it was the time of everybody, the hippie movement to California, so I moved out here uh, living in Larkspur, California, which was a particularly interesting place. Uh, my neighbors were um, a lot of famous musicians. One day, it was my mom's birthday or something, I needed to use a telephone, and I was far too high to go into town to use a payphone. <laughs> and, and one of my friends who came, I came to California with from Kansas City, he took me to meet a group of people called the Juke Savages. And they were like urban squatters who lived in the mansion in the Larchburg Canyon. And I asked them if they knew anybody who had a telephone I could use um, to make a collect call to my mom. And they said yes. If you go back down to the street and keep walking up the canyon, look up to the right and you'll see a large three-story house that has two large mandalas painted on the front of the house. And out of the third floor, there's a tunnel made out of doors and things, and it comes out to a tree house in a ring of redwood trees. And so I, I went up the street and there it was. And then when I got, I got to the top, um, and, and then I saw, oh my God, there's a person right here because there was too much, so much stuff I was, uh, didn't even notice. And I, I said, um, the Juke Savage guys down the block said that you might let me use your telephone. I want to make a collect call to my mom. And he said, sure. Turned out his name was Dickens 44 Bascom. And that's his real name. And so I, he, he just kind of toured me around his house and I'd see things like in the entire floor of the kitchen be covered in multicolored epoxies swirled around with rhinestones in it. And when he wanted an egg, he'd just open the window and walk out into a bird cage where he had chickens. And, and everywhere we went, it was just all brand new to me. He's one who started me onto the mixed media, yes. And, um, and I would say the most important part of it was I looked at what he did and I thought, this is cool but ugly. I can do it better. <laughs>